herniated disc. What are they? Herniated discs are a common source of back, arm, and leg pain. Intervertebral discs are structures in your spine that act as cushions between the bones of the spinal column called vertebrae. You have many intervertebral discs throughout your spine. You have six discs in your neck, also called your cervical spine. You have 12 discs in your chest region, also called your thoracic spine. You have five discs in your lower back, also called your lumbar spine. Each disc consists of a tough outer fibrous layer called the annulus. Inside of each disc, there is a soft jelly-like center called the nucleus pulposus. Because of degeneration over time or sudden injury, the annulus can crack or become torn. When this occurs, the jelly-like nucleus can bulge or push through the defect in the annulus. This series of events is what is referred to as a herniated disc. Herniated discs are not always painful. In fact, many, if not most, people over the age of 30 years old have some degree of bulging or herniated disc that they are living with but have no significant symptoms of pain or nerve impairment. Most people who have bulging or herniated discs found on image studies such as MRI do not require surgical intervention. Usually symptoms can be managed with conservative means and many require no treatment at all. Often, however, herniated discs do cause pain, nerve dysfunction, and or significant functional impairment. This pain can be due to a number of causes. Often, the pain is a radiating, burning, or electric-like pain running into the arms and legs. This type of pain is called radicular pain. Radicular pain is often caused by the herniated disc pressing on a nerve root or the spinal cord. This type of pain may be on one or both sides. A herniated disc may not cause much pain, but may cause numbness and even weakness in the arms or legs. This sort of symptom is particularly concerning since permanent nerve damage may occur in the situation. Herniated discs may also cause bowel or bladder incontinence and even sexual dysfunction or permanent impotence because of nerve damage to the spinal cord or nerve roots. These symptoms or worsening pain demand immediate attention. If you are having neck or back pain, that is accompanied by pain that shoots or radiates into your arms or legs, you should be evaluated by a physician experienced in spinal diagnosis and treatment. If you are experiencing bowel or bladder incontinence, saddle anesthesia, which is numbness in the groin or buttocks area, you should seek medical attention immediately. If you are having numbness and or weakness in the arms or legs, or worsening pain, you should also seek medical attention without delay. What are the causes of herniated discs? The most common cause of herniated discs is normal degeneration of the spine that occurs as we age. As we age, disc desiccation occurs. Desiccation means loss of water content in the annulus and nucleus. As the disc becomes dried out, it becomes more susceptible to tearing and herniation. After this occurs, even minor movements can lead to a disc herniation. Usually in these cases, it is not one particular event that causes a herniation, but the cumulative effect of many stresses, lifestyle factors, and genetic factors. Sometimes, however, Herniated disc can occur from a single traumatic event, such as a fall, an automobile accident, or lifting a large heavy object, particularly while twisting or turning during the lifting. 
As previously mentioned, genetics can make some people more prone to develop herniated discs. Unfortunately, at this point, genetic predisposition is a factor we have very little control over. Physically demanding jobs that involve heavy lifting, frequent bending, frequent twisting, or other repetitive strains on the discs may increase the chances of a person developing a herniated disc. A person's body weight and degree of physical fitness can also affect a person's risk of having herniated discs. Individuals who are overweight or obese have an increased likelihood of developing accelerated spinal degeneration and herniated discs. Chronic inactivity and weakened core muscles lead to diminished support of the spine and increased likelihood of developing herniated discs.